Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. I know we are a bit behind. I want to apologize for that and let everyone know, those of you guys that are trying to get consultations, now is the time to start booking. We are quickly booking for June now and the month of July. So I just don't want uh, to uh, have you guys want to reach out afterwards and not have availability. So just putting it out there. All right, my lovelies, this is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month remaining of May going into June. Let's see what spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. So your cards, Gemini, let's get right into it. You have the thriving card, abundance, and leadership. Now the cards reflecting your partner is trust, transformation, and simplicity. Okay, beautiful cards, Gemini. All right, so what Spirit is saying here is for some of you guys, uh, you guys could have recently uh, been experiencing a lot of changes. A lot of changes could be in the material sense of either purchasing new vehicles, um, residency, changing into a new residency. For some, it could even be uh, transitioning or changing jobs, going into a new position. Thriving card signifies that you guys are currently experiencing a momentum of abundance or opportunities coming to you. And I think that this is going to play out for some of you guys all the way to July. Now, the abundance card does signify uh, seeing the relationship, um, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, seeing the relationship almost like getting on the same page. For some of you guys, it could even be going into partnerships together uh, to start a new business or to pursue a new business. Um, the leadership card, you do have what it takes, Gemini. Now, they are saying here in regards to love and romance, sometimes it's necessary for us to do changes that are going to bring about a better fruition, um, better stability in the relationship. And I think that a focus in regards to financial stability is something that you both are looking for at the present time. So it could be that for some of you guys, there may be some distance involved and it could be because they're either pursuing a career. It could be that they're, um, they could be going through a situation of wanting to go back to school, that type of energy. And again, keep in mind, because we are currently dealing with, you know, what globally everyone's experiencing um, with the virus, with the COVID-19, uh, it could signify that you're really taking the time to analyze exactly what it is that you want, Gemini, not just for yourself, but for your partner as well, and moving forward with the same goal or aspiration. So I see you guys definitely communication is very important, and it's going to be almost like non-resistant, meaning for the remaining of the month going into June, the communication is going to be beyond on point. Uh, you guys are going to be seen eye to eye for some of you guys, like I said, going into partnerships in regards to businesses or starting a new business. Now, the cards of your partner, how they see or view the situation, they have trust. So for some, it could have been that in the past there was trust issues. Uh, perhaps even doubts in regards to the relationship, but I see them more accepting. I think that they're getting to the point of understanding what was done in the past, let that be in the past, and let's move forward. And that's exactly what you want to see when it comes to relationships where perhaps you or your partner in the past, um, you know, had difficulties or perhaps you weren't as committed. Um, with the trust card, uh, I feel almost the rejuvenation, uh, uh, them being able to see you with different eyes or perhaps in a more loving and trusting way. What they're saying is if in the past, um, Gemini, there was lack of sincerity or lack of transparency in the relationship, uh, perhaps because of trust issues, what they're saying here is that your partner is going to be going into these this new cycle, uh, being much more vibrating to the loving energy, to the compassion, to the understanding that let bygones be bygones and let's move forward in a positive way. Um, and the transformation, there is a lot of changes that are happening within your partner. Like I said, it could be changing residency, it could be the desire to want to start a new business, 
even self-love for some. Perhaps in the past, trust issues were very prominent because they didn't really, it was more of a reflection of their insecurities or what they've done in the past. Uh, so I think that the healing energy is definitely happening and it's been happening. And simplicity. They're looking for, they're looking for less drama, less, uh, you know, having a very open communication and like I said, seeing eye to eye. Now, for those of you guys that are single or currently are single, what they're saying here is that there is a new beginning that's happening for a lot of you Geminis out there. And it could be in the in the sense of going back to work. Uh, it could be, like I said, changing uh, or moving. Um, but what they're telling you here is that in regards to love, you need to take leadership, meaning you need to take action. You can't just, um, even when it comes to dating people, when you're getting to know them, you have to put action. You can't expect them to be the ones to be constantly reaching out or wanting to communicate with you. You got to take action um, and, and basically not wait for things to fall in your lap, especially if you are currently dealing with someone that you're very interested in. As I do see that, they may have some trust issues. It could be because of their past relationships. They are currently still going through a healing phase with the transformation and simplicity. They're looking for someone that they can connect on a very, um, on an emotional level. But at the same time, they, they've gotten to the point where they don't want to deal with any drama. And I think that that's something very important. So if you are currently dealing with someone, Gemini, that perhaps you started recently talking to or communicating, try to keep conversations about your exes or past relationships to yourself. Don't put that out there because I feel that with the simplicity card, they could be hasty in making a decision and saying, okay, this person is definitely not over their ex. So be careful with that. And if you have already talked about that, try to address the situation in the sense of saying, you know, um, I'm sorry if I brought that up in the past or whatnot. It's just a conversation that came up. But, you know, I learned from that relationship and now I know exactly what it is that I want. I think that by you stating that, it's going to really reinforce the fact that you've moved on and that perhaps you're ready for a relationship. So just putting it out there, you guys, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.